Patrick, it's been over a year since the first case of porcine epidemic diarrhea virus was discovered within the U.S. Since then, some estimates show the death toll has risen to above 7 million pigs. It's driven up prices have been a nightmare for any producer who has had to see the aftermath of the virus. Now here's a map of the states that have been infected with PED so far. As you can see, the 30 highlighted states have at least one confirmed case. Meanwhile, just this week, a veterinarian in southern Indiana confirmed to Reuters that an area farm had been reinfected with the virus, confirming fears that the fight with PED isn't over. But according to national reporter Tyne Morgan, hope is on the horizon. She introduces us to a man who may have the answer in stopping the spread of this heartbreaking disease. Pigs take it hard and people take it hard. Aaron Anger knows the impact of PED firsthand. We had some sows that started to have some diarrhea, which we see a little a bit of that here and there, but it continued to get worse and worse. That was back in February. She says they immediately sent in diagnostics. Within a couple days, reality set in. PED had entered their herd. And by that time, the farrowing had broke and we had sick babies everywhere. It was awful. Now we're here in this finishing barn and all of these pigs are actually survivors of PED. But she says when PED broke, it broke hard and it broke fast, impacting six swine farms altogether. That first farm broke and then we broke almost every other farm right after that, primarily over the weekend. So we've had all of our sows have been exposed to PED now and it's it's been a long battle. A battle this scientist is fighting too. Hank Harris is president and CEO of Harris Vaccines, the company that's created a vaccine to fight the virus. But the way he develops his vaccines is what's so unique. We don't need to grow the virus or even have the sample of the virus to make a vaccine. Harris is using molecular biology and genomic techniques to create a PED vaccine. After discovering the U.S. virus was 99% related to the one in China, he turned to this. So when we made the PED vaccine, we just took the gene sequence that we needed off the Internet that the Chinese had published with their PED virus. He says PED is a hard virus to grow, so eliminating that step not only made his work more successful, but much quicker. After several attempts, Harris found what he believes is the right combination, and he hopes USDA agrees by granting him a license within the next month. <laughs> While waiting for approval of an effective vaccine, producers are resorting to feedback to protect their herd, where they take the virus from suckling pigs that are dying and feed it back to the sows. We're only three months away, so we're still a little nervous about what this is going to be like come this next fall and things like that if that program will continue to hold that immunity. Harris says it's not sustainable. After they feed back, the mortality rate starts to decrease, usually lose about 100% of their pigs for a while, maybe three or four weeks, mm -hmm. and then mortality rate starts to decrease, and then out about nine or ten weeks after the outbreak, the uh, mortality rate starts going back up again. And that's why he thinks the vaccine could be a real game changer for PED. We're going to be happy if it decreases mortality rate, but if it would give protection to an IE herd, that would be the home run. While the financial burden of the virus has been big for anger, it's the emotional toll that's been so unexpected. I've never experienced anything like this, and it is really scary to think about the future if we can't get this figured out because it is so demoralizing for people working with pigs. Thanks, Tyne. Harris vaccine is called IPED+. Currently, it's only available through a veterinary prescription in the U.S. and through an emergency permit application to the CFIA in Canada. The rapid expansion of the virus has sparked fears about other foreign diseases entering the U.S. herd. Tomorrow, Tyne explores what's being done to prevent another more fatal outbreak.